En route to Hawaii, the Republic of Singapore Navy continues to strengthen professional ties with navies from other countries. Together with the Royal Brunei Navy, the RSN participates in the 39th edition of Exercise Pelican, the long-standing bilateral exercise between both navies. I look forward to a fruitful and smooth exercise and I am sure we will strengthen our interoperability and our friendship over this journey. Uh, looking forward to a fruitful exercise too and standing uh, by on uh, this channel. This is the second time round I'm involved in Exercise Peloton. The first time I did it was in 2017 as an Assistant Operations Officer AOPS. We do this exercise yearly. I'm the lead planner and I coordinate the operations between the both nations. RSS Supreme and Brunei's KDB Daurulesan also participated in a multinational group sale while transiting from Guam to Hawaii with RSS Supreme leading a component of the group sale. As an operations officer, I take charge of the ship's operations. This includes the training of our ship crew, as well as planning and execution of exercises. So for the multinational group sale, I'm the lead planner of Supreme, where I have to coordinate with the other navies, and we come together to craft the program for the group sale. Many serials are conducted during these naval exercises to build mutual understanding and enhance interoperability amongst the various maritime forces. One such serial is gunnery firing. As a weapon systems operator, I am trained to operate the different weapon systems on board ship and also to aid my supervisors in the different day-to-day -day operations that we will carry out using our weapon systems. This is my first multinational deployment with RSS Supreme as a gunnery officer, giving me opportunity to work with other nations to plan and execute our gunnery serials, which has enhanced my experience as a gunnery officer. The successful transfer of information is vital to any mission. To build capacity to communicate effectively, the RSN and partner navies also conduct communication and maneuvering serials while en route to Hawaii. It's important for technical maneuvering in all areas of warfare, including air, surface, and even anti sub procedures. Tactical intentions are encoded into short signals and sent via radio telephony. The ship's communicator will then decode the signals and relay to the commander and the officer of watch. Communicators are trained to recognize a series of different flags with multiple meanings. Upon sighting of hoist flags, the message is decoded and relayed to the ship. Flash hatch serials involving multiple ships relaying messages between one another via flashing of Morse code. In addition to excelling in Morse code, numerous practices are also needed for rhythm and speed when executed to ensure that the receiving ship can easily understand our message. It requires great teamwork in order to execute this serial decisively. The feeling of executing what you plan when it's a successful, safely conducted exercise, I think that's the best feeling. Our team did exceptionally well for striking down the target. We were caught upon and we delivered. And it is all these wins that keeps our morale up and ready for whatever that is coming next. It was indeed a positive experience for me because ideas are exchanged very promptly 
the Bruneians are very helpful in terms of execution on the ground. This is what I really enjoy and get out of the entire experience. Despite the cultural differences and geographical distances between them, exercises such as Pelican and the multinational group sale allow navies to come together for a common purpose. As friends with strong ties and a history of interoperating together, no barrier is too large to surmount. The sea truly makes us one.